I say, what time is it? I think it's time for Arthur and Kenneth to palustrate this sticky wicket. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you guys are weird. Hello, this is Matt, and I'm here with Louise. Hello. And she has been playing Wolfenstein Youngblood, which is the brand new co-op FPS from Machine Games, uh, with a little bit of help from Arcane. Yes, which just is a little. Nice. Yeah, that's always just the people that made Dishonored, just helping you out. Nice. Yeah, just popping in to make your game even better. So, um, Louise, you're a you're a pretty big Wolfenstein fan. You've recently replayed the New Order. Yes. Uh, almost as prepped for this, I think. So, yeah. um, like top line stuff. How is this different? And um, I think primarily, like, how does it feel that's different because of the characters? So obviously, over the years, we've played as B. J. Blaskowitz, uh, who's been murderizing Nazis for a long time now. Um, obviously, uh, the Nazis took over everything. They won the Second World war which you know sucks he woke up and that happened so the wolfenstein so far has been kind of taking back control of the world basically and we've seen bj do it in germany and then take try and take back america and liberate america so he and anya have the twins that we saw in new colossus that we knew were coming so soph and jess blaskowitz it's now 1980 so they are older they are grown up they're teenagers they're a bit cool they've grown up in liberated america which is not anything like where bj has grown up but uh, he has disappeared. He's been taken away and they need to go and rescue him. So suddenly these two girls who previously have been brought up in this very calm world are not so calm anymore and are going to have to learn how to kill Nazis. So Soph and Jess are our two heroes uh, to play in co-op, which is really interesting. So I mean, the, the, the setup is quite interesting as well because it's, like you say, it's set in the 80s. And like, you know, you have this alternate history in Wolfenstein and a lot of it's quite sort of bleak. Yeah. and grim but like I think the, the thing you described to me the, the way you, the, the sort of analogy you made was it's a little bit like Stranger Things you know they're sort of in their bedroom with, with kind of old fashioned consoles yep. and posters on the walls and things um, I mean and that's kind of a cool twist right for all of again. yeah it's kind of like you've got these girls on this adventure that are inspired by comics and they've got these neon posters on the walls and stuff but Essentially, this is still a Wolfenstein game. As you can probably see on screen right now, there is a lot of killing. There's a lot of panzer huns. There is many, many things to explode. But at the same time, you have these two girls at the heart of it who you, you can play as one of. And that's the interesting thing in co-op. It is better with a friend. If you're playing online co-op, it's not split screen. Um, and one of you is Soph and one of you is Jess. And you work together. So the, the cool thing is, like, you're on this adventure, this Nazi murderizing adventure. You have to use murderizing twice because it's a really good <laughs> it's a great word. Um, I know it's not a real one, it's okay. But um, I think what's really exciting is the fact that they're funny, they're goofy, they're really, really silly. They have these great monologue moments after they kill Nazis. You know, you can do exactly what you could do in other Wolfenstein games, which is you can be stealthy. And, uh, you know, they, they sneak up on people and you know, they, they kill them in multiple ways with a wonderful hatchet. You can choose a hatchet at the start, which is what I Lovely. chose. Um, and um, you can sneak up on people and you've got this stealth element. But then you've got just the all-out firefighting that happens. Meanwhile, they're always constantly talking. They're always communicating you have to do things together every door you have to open you have to open together okay. and sometimes you'll get a great little fist bump once you've opened the door together amazing there's even things like there's you have a shared life so if one of you is bleeding out one of you can go to that help person heal them quickly and then sort of run about again but if both of you are bleeding out then you'll die and you'll, you'll lose a shared life now, these shared lives can be found in crates around the place, which you have to open together. So you can't just do things on your own. So you have to go over, you've got this lever, and then wait for your other person to come over and they'll bring it over with you. But um, it's this, doing everything together is de very different from the previous Wolfenstein games where you felt like very much a god, but now you are two miniature gods, <laughs> both, but you need to work together. Let's go then, little Miss Blaskowitz. Just do what mom and daddy would do. So on the back of that, Louise, obviously there's loads of co-op. Um, like, can you play it alone? And how does it feel when you do play it alone? So I've, I've done both. I've played with a friend and I've played alone. And thankfully, unlike many games where an AI companion can be really annoying, uh, whether you're playing Soph or Jess, your other person, it's really quite helpful. You know, if you're being stealthy, they'll stay stealthy. And they'll always arrive at the right minute to open doors with you or do things with you so that you don't have to wait around because that's the most annoying thing, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. They'll always, um, they'll always come to your aid when you need to. But I think, and, and I think this is the big focus, is they really want you to play with someone. They mm -hmm. really, really want you to play together. And it's a significantly different game and that co-op element obviously has something very different as well. Um, but we haven't talked too much yet about um, what Arcane brings to the party here. Yeah, so 
this is a very different Wolfenstein game because previously your Wolfenstein games have been very, very linear, right? So you've you've been you, you've had a little bit of freedom to go in whatever way you maybe want to do something. But Arcane have really added this element of you can opt to do things different ways. There are obstacles, there are much bigger open areas, and that's another thing. This isn't a linear game. It's linear initially, but you'll get to a point when you're in Paris, uh, you have this base in the Paris catacombs, and from there you use the Paris metro system to travel around occupied Paris and cause havoc. And you've got missions, but you don't have to do them in any particular order. You have an end goal, which is to find your father, but in order to do that, you basically have to level up, and that's what's really different. So you've got a levelling system. Um, Arcane have kind of, their influence has meant these open areas, places of choice, and it's really cool because some of them are quite symmetrical, so you could go in different directions and do the same things and then come together. So there's these kind of almost these butterfly elements to some of the level design, where you can both go in two different directions, you use takedowns, do whatever you do, meet in the middle and slaughter people even more. But they've brought in these open hub areas where go to this place and investigate and suddenly instead of just going down one corridor where there's another corridor locked or there's something in the middle that's not going to let you past suddenly there's doors with padlocks that you can shoot and that you can go through in any, in any direction you want and because and this is a big element as well you've got a double jump which is one of the most ludicrously appealing things and the fact that you can get onto awnings so maybe oh, obviously BJ wasn't going to climb up onto awnings he was a big guy but he wasn't going <laughs> to climb up anywhere He's not a but these jumper. girls are in these like like power suits, these really cool kind of, you can see the snake-like armor when it's up with dual wield, um, and they're bouncing around all over the place, using these double jumps, reaching new areas. So you've got all this modern Nazi industrial architecture, but it's also combined with all the lovely Parisian buildings. So you've got these beautiful buildings, but also what the Nazis have done, and it's really fun to explore the verticality of that. And I think the fact of the levelling as well, you can reach areas where you can't, well, you can kill the enemies, they're just significantly more difficult to kill. Right. And they have a skull over their heads instead of a level, because you are at a level and they're at a level. It's always a bit like, you know, your RPGs. So mm -hmm. that's totally new for Wolfenstein. And another thing is you're earning perks, you're earning coins, you're earning... So your coins will upgrade your weapons. So you, you constantly, there's wee silver coins absolutely everywhere, you're just picking them up. Um, and when you kill people, they inevitably fall out of them as well. Which thankfully you, you just auto pick up, which is quite nice. Because when I was playing New Order, I did a lot of hammering of the collect button. But um, <laughs> it all just flows into you. But um, picking up things, leveling up things. And you don't automatically then have the power to dual wield. You have to upgrade that skill. So that's going to be something that's very different. You know, mm -hmm. When you started previous Wolfenstein games, suddenly you'd pick up a gun, pick up another gun, and you'd be wandering around with two assault rifles. You can do that in Youngblood. It will just take time to get there. Because they want you to earn whatever you're doing and they want you to choose and I think that's the kind of arcane element as well is are you going to choose armor are you going to choose ammo what are you going to choose which how is your character going to evolve mm, and I guess that reflects the fact that the twins are new to this right like yeah. BJ was a pro he'd been doing it for years yes and they're kind of going on this this leveling up adventure yeah which together. is yeah exactly it's the fact of when we start in most games we learn to you know be Batman or be Spider-Man or learn to do all these things they're learning to be Nazi killers and I'm not <laughs> going to spoil it but when they do start off um, and they start off with their first Nazi murder. It's particularly funny because they're just two super goofy, super sweet, really nerdy girls, and and they just happen to be killing everyone. That is quite a coming of age moment. Yes, fantastic. Obviously, it's out now. If you've got any questions about Wolfenstein Youngblood, please pop them in the comments below, and Louise will try and answer them. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you know when our next video lands.